So I'm going to do a short video today on a lot of questions I get asked about my equipment that I take with on my rides. I have a GoPro 7 Hero Black. Um, the reason why I chose this camera is because it's it has stability, so you don't see too much of the shaking and whatever you in it. It's the technology in the GoPro is very good in that respect. And I like to just change it up between my uh, Insta360 shots and my GoPro shots. So I like to mount the bike, the, the camera on different parts of the motorcycle, and uh, just it just takes away that sort of one-dimensional boring look. I mean, I know when I look at a video, it's nice when it's changed up a little bit. So for me, it's the, when you see a little bit of the rear view, a bit of the side view, a bit of the 360, a bit of the view, a bit of the rider. So it's, it's all about mixing it up a bit and to create that experience and essentially feel like you're riding along with in the beautiful countryside. So that's the reason why I use these uh, different cameras. So I have a GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black and I have an Insta360 One X3 uh, camera for 360 footage. I don't have a drone. Uh, it's, I, I would love to have a drone one day. Um, I'll put it on my wish list. Um, in the meantime, <clears throat> a lot of people perceive some of the 360 footage to be with the with a drone camera because the technology in the 360 camera takes out the the, so the mounting stick and and it sort of stitches the the sides of the camera together so you have this nice sort of a drone kind of a look almost following the rider and then you really get that feel of riding with a lot of people ask me about where the where the where's the camera mounted on the motorcycle so i'm going to I'm going to show you some of the things that work for me. I'm, I'm not a professional. I, I just I do this as a hobby, um, and mostly for capturing my memories of my bike rides. I love motorcycling. I've been motorcycling for many many years, and it's one of my favourite things to do. Photography and videography subsequently has become a sort of an add-on for me in the sense that it complements my hobby. So that's the reason why I do. Um, this uh, uh, YouTube videos, I have a Facebook page, etc. So, anyway, long story short, I'm going to show you how I mount the the different uh, positions and what I and what tools I use when mounting my cameras on my motorbike. So the camera that I use is called an Insta360 X3. Um, looks like this. Um, I have a mounting stick from the Insta360 which uh, is an accessory that you buy extra with the camera and then I, I have this grip, this ram mount grip that's added to the, to the bottom of the, of the camera and screws in like that. The, the, the most important thing um, um, then one needs to know about this camera in terms of the maintenance and taking care of this camera is that the lenses protrude on either side of the of the camera's bodywork here. Yeah. So I made the mistake of uh, having when I went to Namibia on my X2 that I had the model before this. Um, I set up the shot on a tripod. Uh, it was a Coleman's Cop, um, trying to capture sort of the the vibe of the of the ghost town there in Namibia in Ludwitz and a slight wind, a slight wind just blew over my camera and I was just standing too far back to be able to save the the thing and it fell onto the lens and subsequently scratched the lens and and the thing about these 360 cameras they're very exposed because you can see there's no protection there if you put this thing down badly or it falls off your motorbike you can literally throw away the camera i did manage to sort of get a friend uh, and through youtube videos managed to repair my 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 uh, 360 x2 uh, but it took a long time a lot of hard work a lot of pain 
and I was lucky to have got a replacement lens which I had to break out the old lens it's just it's uh, it was a bit of a mission so my advice to anybody who is wanting to buy a 360 camera make sure you take extra care of this camera um, because once you drop them they exposed on the lenses and they and, and all your hard-earned money will go to waste because uh, I've, I've, I have friends that have lost these cameras within three minutes of riding because they've either overextended these things or the mounting bolts aren't strong enough or the positions and I've learned that the RAM mount is by far the best mount it's sort of I've been riding with these cameras for about two years now and the RAM mount has stood me in good stead I, I seldom extend the thing if I'm going to extend the camera like this I will only do that when I'm mostly stationary or going very very slow um, but you will seldom see me extend this camera like this while I'm riding at 120 kilometers an hour um, so that's what my advice would be I, I've always got the cover on it um, I also try to the nice thing about this camera is it's once one button push to record and one button to switch off all the all the um, turning that takes place during the course of the video that you see that you know you, 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 you're going from the front view to the back you're sort of going right around the rider like that all of that is done in post-production so none of that is having to be managed while you're riding so it's fairly safe you switch on the camera and it captures everything around you in 360 degrees so that's what i like about this camera whereas opposed to the gopro it's very static and it's faced if that's the position you put it on that's the view that you're going to get the whole time and the 360 camera it gives you multiple views basically which you can choose all in post-production um, yeah that's about uh, talking a little bit about the 360 camera um, I, I will now show you um, a little bit of where I'm mounted on my motorcycle I have like these uh, RAM uh, U-clamps positioned on my GS in strategic places because it's just easier than um, having to sort of chop and change the whole time. I mean I use this position quite a lot on my GS so hence the, the almost permanent uh, fixture here. Um, here's another one over here. Um, the nice thing about using the RAM uh, this RAM uh, bracket over here you can mount this anywhere on the motorbike so if you're looking for a shot on the other side of the bike um, I can put it over here so I can attach the camera to this side so that's the nice thing about the clamp is which I like and also it gives me versatility I can change it from one motorcycle to the next yeah I put the clamp sometimes over here on my Road King most of the times it's around here on the handlebar okay so this is uh, it mounted in my favorite position on my GS um, and you can see here the camera goes and if I'm going slow enough while I'm riding I'm able to extend it even if I have to stop and I extend it up here and then it gets you get the drone because it takes away the stitching here it stitches away the the mounting stick and and there's the camera so it will give you that all 360 view around the motorcycle but it sometimes can give you that drone effect because it's standing out here so if I, I tend to slow down and then I extend the the stick and it'll therefore give me the the drone effect what's also important What's also important when you do the 360 camera is the stitching here because this is where this is the side of the camera and this is the other side of the camera so you've got the camera lens this side and the camera lens this side and it stitches all this together so it's also important not to have it so that it cuts the screen because sometimes you see you'll see that it, it it almost cuts the screen a little bit as it's battling to try to stitch the the two pieces together so I tend to focus the line away from the screen 
and you can see the angle at which in relation to the motorcycle. So just for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to show you. So I'm taking some footage now of the 360 and you can see that you won't be able to see the stick in the mounting uh, attached to the motorcycle. So, and that's the position I've just shown you. Here I have a sample of how it's mounted on my Harley. So it's attached with the grip on the side here, onto the handlebar. The ram mounts up here and then here's my, and I get the flexibility through the ram mount arm. I can put it out sideways, I can put it out up here and that's how I get my, and all with an easy access to just push the, the one-stop one touch record button on my camera. There it is. On she goes. So now I'm riding along, I find a nice scenic area to take a, f a bit of video of and while I'm riding, bikes on cruise control, I then say, okay, well, I've had enough of this, right, and I, I turn the recording off. And, and there I have the footage that I, de I desire. So when I go on a trip, um, these are my camera equipment tools that I take with. The, the ram mount, you can see here, um, I have a three meter long selfie stick. I have the Insta360 normal uh, selfie stick with the ram mount grip, my 360 camera, my GoPro, my backup old camera, my uh, also 360X2, uh, which I've had to replace the lens on um, after a lot of pain after having learned the lesson of scratching it, as I said earlier. And then I have a tripod. Um, and then my little bag of goodies, um, just to make life pleasant for me. This over here is a, is a fitting that goes around the 360 camera, and I can attach it to a belt around my chest, and I can get the, you can get the illusion of what it feels like to be a rider behind the handlebars of the motorcycle. 